Hello everybody and welcome back to another Abigail Page Designs YouTube video. Last week we tackled part one of my brother's dresser drawers and this week we're going to tackle part two. In part one I tackled his underwear, his socks, his shirts, and then his junk drawer. And in part two we're going to tackle his PJs, his sweatshirts, his pants, and his swimsuits. So we got a lot to cover. Make sure to grab a snack or your organizing tools and yeah, let's get started. So first up on the list was his sweatshirts. I absolutely despise having sweatshirts in drawers. I think that they take up way too much space and honestly there's just so many other things you could use that drawer for versus having your sweatshirts. So thankfully he does have the closet space and I went ahead and took the liberties of adding all of his sweatshirts into his closet. Leave a like if you think this closet should be next on the project list. After the sweatshirts were out of my way, I went through his hat slash gloves in mittens bin. I have no idea. I don't store any of these things in my room, but you know what? He must have had the space because it was taking up a whole drawer. However, since it was taking up a larger drawer that I thought could be used for other purposes, I went and put the hats and his gloves and his mittens in the smaller drawer that all of the sweatshirts were originally in because I don't think you need to be keeping a huge drawer full of hats. I mean, I don't know, maybe some people, but I don't think my brother had to. Sort, separate, and put it back. That's how organizing works. So now that I had everything that I wanted to go into the smaller drawer, not the bigger drawer, I went ahead and put everything back. I went and used a box to keep all of his gloves and his mittens in because I did not want those running free in the drawer. I thought he would have a really hard time keeping that organized. So I will say boxes work great if you are out of bins in your home like I am. I'm not saying I'm going to keep his gloves and mittens in a box forever, but they make a great placeholder until I am able to order him a proper bin. Oh my, the pants, guys. This drawer was so heavy, so full. He had a mountain of pants stuffed in here. I honestly have no idea how he was able to go about picking out his outfits for the day. Between his shirts and his pants, I, I don't even wanna know. Probably explains why he wore the same thing every day. He had no idea what was stuffed in the bottom of these drawers. Quiz for the day, how many pants do you think I folded in this video? I myself have no idea, but hey, if you were able to keep track, leave in the comments below. And in case you're wondering, yes, I got bored and tired of the area that I was folding his pants in, so I switched locations. I moved to the dining room table. A, it wasn't as back aching, and B, the lighting was better. So that is why you do notice a slight little difference in the lighting and the material of the surface that I was working on. <laughs> Thank you. 
nothing like some freshly folded pants. Always the best part of file folding is putting it in the drawer and having it fit together like a puzzle piece. It is so satisfying and so rewarding to look at when you're done. Unfortunately, you would not be able to understand this unless you have done it. So yes, here is your challenge for the week. I challenge you to file fold at least one of your dresser drawers. Take a picture, post it on Instagram, and tag me at Abigail Page Designs. I would love nothing more than to see your guys' hard work. Holy swim trunks, guys. He has so many swimsuits. I think he could have a swimsuit for every single one of my Ken Barbie dolls that I used to play with. But since I was not decluttering or donating anything, I just went ahead and folded every single swimsuit and put it back. That will be his problem and his issue when he decides that he has too many. Out of all the drawers I did for him, I'm pretty sure doing his swimsuits was my favorite. The colors were so pretty. I mean, he literally had every color swim trunk you could imagine, and it created this beautiful rainbow in the bin. PJs, the fluffiest, the softest, the coziest drawer of them all. I had a lot of fun doing this one too. I mean, the swimsuits were my favorite, but the PJs was probably my second. Funny little backstory, in the bottom of his PJ drawer, I found an ancient pull-up from years and years ago, and I find this so funny because it shows me that he clearly never goes through his drawers, like, ever. interested in the pant folding method I'm using. I'm basically just folding the pant legs on top of themselves and then folding it up halfway, folding it halfway again and tucking the bottom side into the top where you would like insert your legs if that makes any sense. But yeah, it's worked for the longest time for my family because it helps to keep your pants folded versus them just like unfolding on themselves. So I use this for every single one of our family members and I love it. And just like good old PJs deserve, they have a whole drawer to themselves, just as it should be. I put in his pants first and then I did his shirts and he's still got room for more. So guess what he'll be getting for his birthday from me. I couldn't do the drawers without touching the top of the dresser. I mean, it is after all part of the dresser. So I decided to work my fairy fingers on this area as well. 
as always, I just took everything off except the things that were plugged in, like his sound machine and his clock. I'm not doing anything super crazy for up here, no crazy transformations, I'm just kind of tidying it up for him and putting only the necessary items on top of his dresser because at the end of the day, we should really only have three to five things on our dressers at all times. And hashtag log home living at its finest right here. There was so much dust on his dresser. If you watched my second or third YouTube video, you would know that I organized the top of my sister's dresser drawer. And I still had a leftover lotion bottle from that project. So I decided to donate it to my brother's room and put his hand lotion in a reusable bottle as well just so that way it looked a little tidier and he could store away his extra lotion somewhere else kind of hidden out of sight. Alright, get ready for some before and after magic. Thank you guys so much for watching this little mini part one, part two organizing session with my brother's dresser drawers. Hope this video inspired you to maybe work a little magic on your own drawers at home because come on, don't lie to me. I know that some of you out there have struggled with the same thing that my brother was. I myself, I will not lie, I go through mine every year to try to avoid this and even at that, I feel like I'm still fixing clothes daily. But I feel like discipline is the way to keep your drawers clean. You must schedule time to put away your clothes and put them away neatly, don't throw them in there. Otherwise, you do end up with clothes spewing all over the floor. I mean, it's just life, it happens, people get busy, and some days you just need to toss that shirt on and run out the door. That being said, it is much easier to find that shirt you're looking for when your clothes are organized. So that is why I've been trying so hard to keep up with my own, and I hope my brother does the same. I really don't expect him to keep them clean forever, so trust me, I will be back in there probably in six months to a year just to uh, reevaluate and help him out again because it is, organizing is continuous, guys. It never, ever ends. I mean, you will have to reorganize the spaces that you organize. It's not a one-time deal. It's not a two-time deal. It's not even a three-time deal. It is constant because life is messy. If you happened to miss part one of me organizing my brother's dresser drawers, then I will leave it linked below for you guys. Make sure to go check it out. Make sure to leave a like if you think that folding clothes is satisfying and relaxing. And subscribe if you love all things organizing, gardening, cleaning, and home decorating. Love you all. See you in my next video. Bye!